Hey guys, it's Mark with Falls Outlaw Python. Just uh, wanted to do a video. I can't do a cut video because... Oh, I'm sorry. This is clutch number nine. Uh, we had Repticon this weekend. I was working the show. I didn't have time to uh, do any videos or anything. So here is going to be... Here is going to be... Yeah, that's, that's really good English. This is going to be the update out of the egg video um, for clutch number eight this was the leopard lesser to a pinstripe but just so you guys know up front I did not hit the ocelot that's okay there's always next year and also another thing I have a few in this clutch I'm probably gonna hold on to I really want to wait until you know they're eating good and until around Christmas time before I even decide who I'm gonna keep and who I'm gonna let go of but so far uh, there there's two or three that I wish I could keep I know I can't keep them all but I'm gonna keep some of them so uh, please don't ask for them don't call dibs any of that kind of stuff I mean you can but it won't do you any good you just get mad at me so please don't just to keep from being mad at me Stay in there, baby. Don't come sneaking out the other side. That's what it's there for. You to feel safe. Okay. So, yeah. I got that there. Oh, let's see. We have, also, this is a single gene. This is the only single gene other than a single gene normal that was in the clutch. And, yeah. I'm, I don't know. The lights just aren't that good. So, this is a leopard. A really nice one. Very nice leopard. I have not sexed it, but it is a leopard. Stay or go, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever. I'm just trying to get a get a good look for everybody. Wait. No, I'm not zoomed in. It just looks so close to you. Oh, these are a bunch of little wiggle worms too. They all just they're little thick little wiggle worms. You know, sometimes. You produce a clutch and it, they feel skinny. All of these absorbed all of their yolk and they they were crawling out over the weekend. I'm like, dude, uh, today is day 55, so they were crawling out on day 54. As a matter of fact, they were all out on day 54 except for one of the leopards. All right, so this, this is a kingpin. And man, how I wish that was an ocelot. <laughs> no leopard in this one though, but my goodness, what a beautiful little kingpin. Don't know if it's male or female yet. That one I know will be available. I have, you know, a lot of king pins and king spins and stuff like that. So, well, I have one other king pin, but I have a king pin harlequin, two, three king spins. So I, that one will be able to. I can let it go, no problem. All right, fine. Just stay over there. So then we have what I think is a really neat looking one. It's different. I've never produced one that looked like this as far as the leopard lessers, but hey, it's neat. So, this is so much better having this in here because they're just cruising. They're just enjoying their little house over there. So, that's awesome. All right. Anyhow, here we are. We're back. I wonder if I say anyhow a lot. I think I do. I've watched some of the videos. I'm like, there I go again. So, so anyhow, no. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see here. I really like how that looks back there. That looks really neat. It's just a neat looking baby, you know, leopard lesser. Just really neat looking. I love it. They're all males, so that's pretty awesome. And yes, I'm keeping one of them because there's some other stuff. I have a, I, I'm not going really public with the Dinker project I'm working on with this. Um, it's something I've been working on since I produced the first one in 09. It's Mustachio's mom, so you guys that have been following me for a long time know who Mustachio is. Um, it's his mom. She's like a really golden, orange dreamy type, but not orange dream, so. I'm not trying to say she's orange dream, but orange dreamy type. 
looking snake. She was very, very, very orange, like a golden orange when she came out of the egg. And I didn't realize how much like an orange dream she was until I got my orange dream mail that he was very golden, not orange. So here we go. This is one of them I'm thinking that I might want to keep. Um, I want to back up for the dad, considering I only got one clutch this year from him. A lot of the times I would want to put him in with a girl, he would be like in shed or something. And I'm like, dude, no, not now. So anyhow, let me go ahead and get this other one. This other one is the last one that I that came out of the egg. This is the one that came out this morning right here. That's so awesome. I took a really good picture of this one, I think. And so, I mean, look at the side patterns. Just so gorgeous. I love these. I love that little tail strike. And the one that came out this morning has a little bitty ringer. Teeny tiny little ringer. Right back here somewhere. There it is. Ta-da! Finally. Probably my first ringer ever that was an actual ringer ringer. Let me go over this way. You might see them a little better. Here's what I love the most about this one. Right there behind the neck. Right there. That pattern that's on the back of the head. Going like squiggly pattern. On the back of the head there. Right, right behind the eye stripe. I think that's pretty neat. And then the colors, they're so dark. Just really pretty. I mean, crazy pretty. So yeah, this is definitely probably my number one favorite, all-time favorite, double gene codom. Herptopia drives me crazy sometimes when it's little spots in there. All right, let's see here. There we go. Hello. All right, well, I guess I won't be keeping you guys all day. Uh, the black pewter, I mean, the black pastel lavender stuff is still in deep shed. I'll uh, do an update video on that when it comes out of shed. This may be the update video for these, I don't know. They haven't even started going into shed, but I think this will probably be the update video for them, considering they still look good. And there, there they are. Let me move the whole thing over. Give you a good look at them. So, that leopard lesser right here is really different looking. Oh wait, no, this is the one that's really different looking right here. Yeah, I'm touching it. Figured it would try to crawl away if I did that. But yeah, they're all three boys. And that's the one with the really cool squigglies behind the eye stripe. And then that one has a little spot behind the eye stripe on the right side, but that's pretty much that. I love the little stripe on the tail right there. The leopard is just really nice too. I don't know if it's a male or a female. I haven't even checked. The, I think the normal, I think I checked that. That was the first one to come out. And I believe I checked and that was a real wiggly worm. I believe it was a female. So, there we go. Dun, dun. Wow. You know, I could just sit and look at these guys all day. They're just that pretty. I love that crazy pattern. Next year, hopefully, we'll see some banana stuff like this. I think that'd be pretty cool to have banana in it. Like a leopard lesser banana or something like that. Ooh, maybe, and also have it Het Clown or Het Ultra Mal. That would be neat. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to put, I'm going to try to get a clutch from my Mojave Ultra Mel Banana, or Banana Ultra Mel Mojave to a Pastel Leopard. I think that would be pretty cool to have a Mojave, or like a Pastave Banana Leopard or something, Head Ultra Mel. That might be neat. And then my clown, my banana clown, banana blade clown to maybe stitches 
which is the uh, leopard lesser bee that should be ready to go by then. She's getting big and eating good. So maybe she'll be ready. Baby face is, she just came off of her little fast that she did for about six months. So I was wishing it would have been three months. Nope, six, I believe. I have to check the records. Seemed like six months if it wasn't. And uh, now she's eating again. So there's a possibility by late uh, season, next season, she might be late, but uh, she may be able to be up to size for breeding. Uh, maybe March, April, somewhere in there. Just got to make some room now. Golly, that leopard is just so pretty. You guys can't see it. It's like the camera's just not picking up. There's like a, a red tint in her, him, whatever. And that one, <laughs> there's like a red tint in the pattern. Maybe if I held it. You can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, there you go. See what I'm talking about? Well, I'm just going to say that you probably saw it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is Mark with Balls Out Ball Python. Hope everybody had a great season and is having a great season. I only have one clutch left. That is my fire yellow belly to a dinker girl. And I'm hoping for the best. But, you know, I just don't get my hopes up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just wait and see what happens. So there we go. There's the unusual looking one. It, unusual for my my stuff. I mean, I've always, I've seen other people that produce some that look like this that I think are just amazing looking. But then we go back to this stuff, the really wacky patterns and the, the stripes and I love that little ringer right there and the little tildy looking squigglies behind the head. What a beautiful baby. And I've already said my name. And I said everything except for out. So out. <laughs>